This is Anne Ramya, pursuing my second year in IT department, PEG Anna University, also a member of the Gindi Times, the official campus magazine of CEG, ACT, and SAT. Cybersecurity is the practice of defending computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. Awareness and vigilance pertaining to the same has become the need of the hour. Vivek John has had a great deal of experience working in the arena of cyber security during his internship at Visa. Let us hear more from him. Hi, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Vivek John, currently in the fourth year in Computer Science Department. I have just completed my internship with Visa. Thank you. Moving on, here's my first question for you. How did you happen to develop a passion for cyber security? So I got to know about cyber security first through movies because, you know, hacking seemed cool and exciting. That's how I developed that interest. And cyber security is something that is needed in every field. So that appeals to me a lot since if you specialize in cyber security, you know, whichever job you get or area of interest you have, it can always be applied to that. Sounds interesting. So how did you get the internship opportunity at Visa? So usually companies come for placements for the fourth years and they take interns in the same time. So they'll have a coding round where you go to the CUIC building and then go through a technical interview. So yeah, I got selected through that. I just had like a coding round and an interview with the visa officials after which I got selected for the internship. Cool. What are the kind of activities that you indulge yourself in during the internship? Um, the internship at Visa wasn't a traditional one where like, you, know, you carry out one of the manager's work and just help them with the project currently going on in the company. So since it was the first time it was conducted in quarantine and lockdown, they decided to change the internship into a learning experience where you're given like three main challenges out of which you choose two to participate in and compete for prizes. So other than that, we were offered a summer scholarship and they organized a lot of leadership programs, you know, where you can interact with the top level leaders like the CFO, CEO, etc. So we had those happening during the internship period. The first challenge out of the three included members being separated to teams of six, you know, cross country where people from Singapore, India, US and UK. So you're supposed to collaborate and develop a theoretical paper on an innovative solution to accelerate a cashless economy. Since, you know, now with the COVID-19 pandemic, digital payments is becoming the need of the hour. So we were asked to come up with an innovative tech solution to accelerate cashless payments. And the other two challenges was either to take part in a hackathon where you build an application to improve the customer's experience or was to take part in a capture the flag contest, which is like a cyber security challenge where you're given a set of problems to solve to discover a flag. So in this case, it was where we hacked into a web application where flags are hidden throughout the web application. And each time you find a flag, you get a point on the leaderboard. So that's how that works. So I took part in the white paper presentation and the CTF, which happened for a week. So what do you say are the key takeaways or learnings for you from this internship? So one learning is definitely to start planning more because in a corporate environment, you know, even where the culture is chill and fun, you're supposed to complete all your work on time. So it's not possible to do that unless you plan way ahead. And that's something which I don't see many students do during college time. The second takeaway would be to start learning in depth about whichever field you're interested in. Because even though I did an internship after the second year in cyber security, when I participated in the CTF, I just realized how much I didn't know about it in depth at all and had to learn it on the job again. So, you know, try to explore as much as you can instead of just thinking about the basics. And the last takeaway would probably be just to focus on the coding because for CS and IT, it's like one of the most important areas you learn about no matter which field you go to. This is definitely inspiring. I believe most of your juniors will also be looking forward to such opportunities in future. What would be your quick advice to them so that they'll be equipped to bag these chances? Um, so, what my advice would definitely be to do something which sets you apart than the rest of the crowd, you know. Because so everyone's going to be you know, good in coding, everyone's going to be doing some course projects and all that. But you need to specific, like identify what is your field of interest in computer science or in IT because computer science is like a huge field and each subdomain in computer science is like not related to the other at all. Like if I'm doing cyber security, 
I need to study like a lot more than if I say I just want to be like a web developer. This is different from a person who's going to say AI. So that has to be something you try to find out as early as possible and try to learn as much as you can because that will really help you when you have like interviews for your internships and all that. But plus, you know, the, you have to be really clear with your basics as well. So because even before you go to the interview round, almost every internship they're going to have like a coding round. So and coding is something that's very basic for computer science and IT. So definitely like, you know, practice a lot in that. And that's this will help anyone to get like, a proper internship of their choice. Thank you. Did you face any challenge, challenges or hurdles during your internship period at Visa? If so, how did you overcome them? Definitely a lot of challenges because this is the first time I'm doing anything which is, you know, work from home. First time the company is doing a work from home intern. So one of the main challenges was in communicating with, you know, the other fellow interns and your teammates because I had a teammate who was from Singapore, one guy who was from Mumbai, one girl who was from Bangalore and all that. So that was one key challenge. And the second thing is, you know, when you're in a team is to actually get work done because more often than not when you're in a team, most of the time is gone in just debating what to do next instead of actually doing something. So, but the good thing was in Visa, like, you know, each intern was tied up with a, something known as an intern buddy who was like an engineer who was already in the company plus a manager. So, you know, we could talk with them and they guided us throughout the entire internship where, you know, in um, having meetings, in having sprint meetings and using agile methodologies, which is something which is, you know, something, you know, which I implemented for the first time. Because you read about that in theory, usually in college, you know, agile methodologies, scrum meetings and all that. But it's completely different when you actually have to put it to practice. So, yeah, I think, you know, the interns, buddies, and I just, you know, you should have, like, an open mind when you go, because it's not only your first time, it's everyone. So as long as you have that in mind, and just try your best, yeah, it works out. Glad to know. So did Visa offer you a full-time job post your internship? Um, so because of COVID and all that, usually does offer, give a pre-placement offer, but this time they did not. They canceled pre-placement offers for everyone who winters. But instead, what they told was, you know, for campus, they only have to go for campus placement. So instead of going to universities first, they would do the interns the first opportunity, where we have to, again, go through the same process of placements, which is write a coding test, and go through, like, three, four interview rounds. But we'd be given, like, the first opportunity than other students. Oh. You had mentioned artificial intelligence to be one of your other areas of interest prior to our meeting. May I ask how you were driven towards that? Um, okay, so when I was doing my second year internship, right, so I was, like me and my friend from C, we were like the only people who had interned in cyber security. Everyone else had, was doing something in machine learning. Because I guess, you know, machine learning is now like the keyword or the buzzword. It is going on. So even people who don't know what it is, just want to go to machine learning. So, but for my second year intern at cyber security, I felt that, you know, even though at least I, if I don't take it up as my specialization or whatever, if it's something which is happening in the present, I don't want to be left behind in it because as I said, cyber security can again be applied using AI, which is like the late, my latest, you know, interest. So, that's why I decided to look into what AI was, what ML was, and that's why I got interested in that. That sounds cool. What are some of the noteworthy courses and certifications that you pursued to enhance your expertise in these fields? Um, okay, so, you know, if you're going into AI, there are these standard courses of this guy called Andrew NG, who is actually the founder and the creator of Coursera which is a, like a huge online learning platform. So I did, and then, um, you know, Coursera is like the main platform I use, and courses and specializations offered by other universities, like the University of Michigan and all that, which are really good in the field of machine learning right now. So I did those. And in cybersecurity, um, the cybersecurity, I didn't do any courses per se, but this internship, like, helped me a lot. 
and um, there are you know a lot of mock like for cyber security specifically there are a lot of uh, mock websites which are available like web applications available to help you improve your hacking skills like there is a operating system known as Metasploitable. There is a web application called DBWA, which will form a spam vulnerable web application, which is good so that people can, you know, improve their hacking skills and learn in that. Those are definitely launched from. And yeah, pretty much that's it for now. Glad to know. It's a pleasure to know that you are a professional national level tennis player as well. Would you please share with us your secret tips on efficient time management? Which everyone says is that, you know, if you're in sports, you can't study. Or if you're doing study, you can't play sports. Which is good. Yes. I feel like everyone can maximum of two things. So, and in my case, it was tennis and, you know. So, um, as long as, you know, you don't get your Because you can't say, you know, I want a break from studies and just do something else when I have tennis also. So I couldn't do that. So it was like tennis was my break from studies and studies was my break from tennis throughout my school life and, you know, up to college. So, um, and, you know, when you play a sport, you are not to, you know, focus completely. Like if you go for an hour, you're supposed to focus for that hour fully. So that also helps in managing your time really well. So even if you get only like an hour to study, if you try to, you know, maximize that to the fullest and, yeah, I think, yes, yes, yes. This is definitely inspiring. Finally, what do you think of intern diaries? It is, like, a very good initiative because I actually did not know about intern diaries before I went for my internship. So I, you know, went in blind per se. So it took me some time to get adjusted, know what to expect and all that. But... You know, if people read it, they like really know what like a huge advantage because you get to prepare in advance or uh, before you go to attend to, like interviews and you know before you go to your intern, it helps you get back a lot more because you know at the end of the day you're investing your time, you're investing your effort into it. So yeah. Thanks a lot for taking out the time and effort for this interview. Wish you all success in your future endeavors. Thank you.